Hi guys, it's Meg. I'm the managing editor here at Seamwork, and in this video I'm going to show off the super cozy fabrics that we picked for the January patterns, the Rudy Hoodie and the Mel Joggers. The best thing about these patterns is that you can sew them individually or you can sew them as a matching set for a really cozy loungewear in the new year. I'm going to start by showing you the Rudy Hoodie. The Rudy hoodie is a relaxed pullover hoodie. It has raglan sleeves, a drawstring, a kangaroo pocket here, and there is an elasticized finish at the sleeves and at the waistband. And it's got a very generous hood in the back with a center seam. There is a member bonus version of this pattern which adds a zipper. Uh, everything else about the pattern is the same but it just adds the center front zip. Do you prefer a zipper in your hoodie or do you like the pullover style? I would love it if you would comment below and let me know. Next I'm going to show you the Mel Joggers. This pattern is really comfy, but it doesn't look like sweatpants. You can wear it out, you can wear it in the house. Um, it's got a really, really cool silhouette. A couple things about this pattern, it has pockets here, always. Um, and the, the drawstring here has a really cool construction. It is um, elasticized up until the side seams, so you've got that stretch for comfort, but then it's got a regular drawstring at the front, so it's not full elastic. So it gives you that comfortable um, look and feel, but with this nice finish here at the front. The pants are finished at the bottom with a cuff. We have a really cool pattern hack in this issue of Seamwork for the Mel Joggers. And this hack shows you how to taper the legs for a more form-fitting silhouette, and it omits the cuffs at the bottom of the joggers. So it's a little bit more of a formal jogger, if you will, um, and again, it creates a really nice silhouette. In addition to this hack, we have two other hacks in the issue. We'll show you how to shorten the joggers into a comfy pair of shorts, and we'll also show you how to add some um, knit patch pockets to the back in case you want some extra pockets on your joggers. Both of these patterns require the same fabric. All you have to do is pick your favorite knit. There are a lot of options here. You can choose French Terry, you could choose Ponty, you could choose just regular jersey. You could even try out a sweater knit. Um, and the most obvious choice would be sweatshirt fleece. And the good news is that we have an article that covers everything you need to know about sweatshirt fleece in this month's issue. Sweatshirt fleece is what we used for this really cool rust colored set. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but if you want some help sewing this fabric, just be sure to check out the January issue of Seamwork and we'll teach you everything that you need to know. Now I'm going to show you the individual fabrics that we picked for these samples. For this awesome sage colored set, we used a uh, bamboo French terry from fabric.com. It's really cozy, it'll wick moisture, it's very comfortable, um, and it comes in some really great colors, so we definitely recommend that you check it out. For the hacked version of the joggers, we also use the same um, uh, French terry, it's just in a different color. This is in the khaki color. Um, so you can see that it, it works in both silhouettes and it's just an all around really awesome fabric. Like I mentioned earlier, we used sweatshirt fleece for this rust colored sample. It is this really soft, cozy bamboo cotton sweatshirt fleece from Stone Mountain and Daughter Fabrics. And the best thing about this fabric is that they actually have matching ribbing. And this is a really fun way to finish the cuffs on your joggers. It's also a really fun way to um, add a cuff onto the sweatshirt if you want to make that match. Um, so I recommend if you can find matching ribbing, uh, you'll get that really nice ready to wear look for your uh, loungewear. Uh, but if you can't find matching ribbing, that's okay. You can also play with a contrasting color too. You could do kind of a cream color, sort of classic sweatshirt look, um, or you could find something that's a nice pop of color. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the fabrics that we picked for these patterns. If you have any questions about the fabric, feel free to comment and let me know and I will get back to you. Otherwise, we will see you next month. Bye.